through the snare. The snare is pretty much exactly 200 RPM. And I'm running, this is a 40 amp motor controller here. So it's cranked it up. Oh, so I haven't calibrated the, uh, the current reading to the front inside there. Um, I'm actually doing 25 amps. Yeah, and then the actual strain gauge output right now is just have, um, I simply just measure the middle volt with the multimeter to, to measure the torque. But I'm going to build a little instrument panel there that just says Newton meters. Cool. And, uh, very and cool, and dude. And no, uh, no adjustments. Yeah, have to just crank that out a little bit. So my, uh, my alignment for coaxiality isn't quite perfect, so you can kind of see the wall over there. It doesn't seem to have any effect on the uh, pretty light And then, yeah, the great thing is that you can see, like, um, right here I'm drawing 30 amps from the motor controller, but the power supply itself is only delivering 14 amps. And so the load of this motor just regenerates and supplies the controller. So I'm able to test. Oh, right? So there's no, there's no dissipation of this load. It's just recirculating the controller. Oh my god. Um, and so that lets me test the uh, uh That's really smart. Yeah, it makes it possible to test at a higher current rod than the power supply is able to deliver. This guy right here? Okay. Very smart. Okay. Ten thumbs up for this guy. Alright. Uh, uh, mm. Yeah, so that might be the first ever video of this thing, I'm not sure.